I'm going to start off by grabbing one of these pedal sessions. Let's just go with six. I got it on the timeline and it's over an hour long. This is pretty much the same exact thing I'd be doing if I was making something from scratch right now. I would just do some sound designing on my synths, running through my pedals. And once I got something that caught my ear, I would start building off of that. So I'm just going to go through this whole entire session and just pick out the parts I like and get a good starting point for the beat. That part's pretty fire. Soundscape texture type thing, I'm gonna keep that. That part's tough. It's kind of a completely different vibe. I kind of see a vision with it. I ain't gonna lie. So I got these five starting points and I only have five because I kind of had a specific vision of the type of beat I wanted to make. But if I was just going through the session trying to find phrases and loops to chop up, I would literally have a hundred of these. Before I start the beat, this is what the master chain's looking like. I just always forget to show it in my videos. I use these settings on every trap beat I make. A very crucial step if you're using the sessions is to go ahead and render out each chop to its own WAV file. Just because if you're trying to pitch it up or something you're gonna accidentally pitch up the entire hour and it's gonna fry your computer so i'm just gonna render them out by highlighting the chop going to the mixer and then pressing the master and then pressing alt or option if you're on mac r and then start and then boom it rendered out the first one and i'm just gonna do that for all five i got all my chops right here and i'm just gonna go through them and see which one i'm feeling the most i'm gonna save this one for later to use as a background I think I'm gonna chop this one up for now. So basically, I'm just gonna kind of feel out the bounce of it and try and chop it up and get it on grid the best I can. Cool, so I feel like I got a pretty solid starting point. I just chopped this part up. Then I put this part under it. Listening to it by itself, like it don't sound like they go together, but kind of works. Chopping these up is kind of like painting. Like you start off with a sketch and then you start adding the color and, and eventually you see the whole picture. Then I added a chop from Pedal Sessions. There's an extra folder with like 200 chops in here. I used the one called LV and it sounds like this. I just time stretched it a bunch. My favorite way to use the chops is just to time stretch them a ton and you start getting these crazy textures because the effects on the pedal is kind of fast paced and you can still use them like that. But when you stretch them out, you really start hearing the artifacts and it just sounds crazy. And then I just added another accent from a chop called Tour. Sounds like this. This is how I make my loops with my pedals and my synths. If y'all really want to see like exactly how I do it, I can show y'all all the pedals I use and how I use each one, make everything from scratch. Just let me know. I'm down to do it. I'm just going to do some quick edits and make sure everything is perfectly on beat. And then I'm going to render out each layer as its own audio file, just so when I'm arranging and copying and pasting stuff, I don't have to copy and paste however many different chops all this is.
So now that we have everything rendered out, it's going to be a lot easier to arrange stuff. We don't have to worry about accidentally dragging one chop and not the other. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to go to tools, macros, and purge unused audio clips, and that's going to get rid of everything we don't need. Then I'm going to highlight all my melody layers by just clicking and dragging and click on the mixer and then press shift command L, and then that's going to link all of them to the mixer starting from the track you selected. This layer has an annoying frequency like right here, so I'm just going to remove it real quick. I think the first thing I want to add is a bass sound. I think that sound could be cool to start with. pitching everything up one note real quick i just used this preset called q beats flute key for some chords from my analog lab bank inside of pedal sessions this preset's fire really do kind of sound like some q beats flutes i think i'm gonna add some keys under it and that should be good for the melody Just threw some drums on it real quick. I feel like I didn't need to go that in depth explaining it. I could use one more layer to brighten everything up. So to save time, I'm just gonna go through some of the phrases in here. That could be tough. some delay on the eq it a little bit now i'm gonna just take my drum pattern split it by channel throw it on the timeline and i'm just gonna do some simple arranging real quick
And one thing I've been doing recently is I like to check my mix and mono. So I'll just put a stereo enhancer on the master and then turn the separation all the way down. And from doing that, I can tell the analog lab chords are kind of loud. Honestly, all the melodies are a little bit quiet, so I'm gonna turn them up. The beat's done for the most part. This is just an example of my workflow when it comes to making beats like this. If you want any of the sounds I use in this video, go get my pedal session sample pack. It comes with 20 hours of the sessions that I used in this video, as well as 250 phrases, 200 chops, the analog lab presets I used, and it has some full samples in there with the stems and everything. Hope y'all learned something from this video. Thank y'all for watching.